really awesome to be here in Taipei. This is our eighth Channels Forum in APAC. So far, we've managed to use a different country every year. And I'm pleased to tell you that next year we'll be using a different country too. And we're going to announce that at the closing session tomorrow afternoon. So we keep, keep, keep going, taking everyone on a tour through Asia. And as we move forward running events, one of the things we've discovered is the world is getting unstable. A few weeks ago, we ran our event in Barcelona in Europe. That's the safest place to run an event in Europe, the most predictable place to run an event. And there were riots on the streets and the airport closed the day before our event started. Luckily, it reopened and our event went on to be a, a good success. But the world is becoming more unstable. And that is impacting those of us who do events, but it's impacting all of you. There is a very clear message of what is happening. First of all, we all know of the protests that have now gone on for many months in Hong Kong. But it's not just protests in Hong Kong in this region that are disrupting business. We've also seen mass protests in Jakarta, and more recently, students protesting in Delhi. Around the world, there are protests taking place in Santiago, in Chile, in La Paz, in Bolivia, in Bogota, in Colombia. The level of political disconnect between the haves and the have-nots is growing, and we are seeing the consequences come out in a number of different ways. Also, of course, the rise of certain political leaders. We can't solve that problem for you. But for the channel partners here today who come from Hong Kong, we can share our sympathies because, again, running a business in Hong Kong has been one of the best places in the world for the last 30 years. It was unpredictable that suddenly they would go into this crisis that they now face. And what does that mean for leaders? It means leaders have to be more flexible. They have to react to change. They have to be nimble. Old certainties don't carry on into new predictabilities. And flexibility and the ability to react to change is now become the number one business requirement. And of course, it's partly about politics and the clash between the haves and the have-nots, but it's also climate change. Australia being devastated by bushfires recently. The typhoon that took, um, disrupted the Rugby World Cup and this led to several deaths in Japan. Perhaps they're surprised that there's also been a typhoon in Manila this week. There are droughts in Chennai. There are droughts in the Mekong Delta. So that ships that used to go, or boats that used to go down the canals can currently not pass. So we have a twin problem of politics and climate sustainability impacting our business. It's incumbent of all of us, and especially the big companies, to do more to create sustainable businesses and environmentally aware businesses. And that's something we'll be looking for our sponsors to talk to, the ability to create a circular economy. Recycling of tech goods is difficult to make money from. It just about pays its way. But what we are seeing is a rise in the second-hand goods market particularly in smartphones, obviously, but also in areas like PC, servers, storage. Taking products that have been in use for three, four years in a rich country, and then maybe shipping them to a poorer country where they're still in high demand. Some of you can make good money by focusing on second-hand goods. And then on top of that need to create a more sustainable environment and the changing politics around the world, there are also some self-inflicted conflicts. The trade war between the US and China has clearly led to a slowing of the Chinese economy, a shift of manufacturing outside of China, out of China, and also increasingly creating a two-tier tech, tech industry, where, for example, in 5G, we may end up with a Chinese set of standards and a Western set of standards. And for many of you in your different countries, 
You're going to have to choose whether we go on the Western path or the Chinese path or try and manage somewhere in between. So the trade war has created another uncertainty and led to the shift in manufacturing. And of course, it's not just between the US and China. Also, the tension between South Korea and Japan is something else that's causing unsurprising difficulties. Inside those difficult environments, where the global economy is certainly slowing, not crashing, but slowing, China is slowing, India is slowing, US is stable, Europe is slowing. There are some pockets of success. And it's worth calling out to our friends from Japan in the room. Japan is today the hottest tech market. There's been a lot of activity. The symbol of the activity in Japan is very much the World Cup, which has already been mentioned, the Rugby World Cup. And that, of course, next year, the Tokyo Olympics. That's creating new energy and new excitement. But also there was a very clear decision by corporate Jan Japan to do a Windows 10 refresh that has led to an awful lot of activity and replacement cycles. And I mentioned the trade war already and manufacturing shifting out of, uh, out of China. And we talked a lot about this in last year's presentation when the trade war had really just started. And there are some countries benefiting from that. Manufacturing is shifting here to Taipei. And Taiwanese companies that were building in China are starting to again build back in Taiwan. Also, we're seeing manufacturing move to Thailand and move to Vietnam. Those are the three countries that are winning from this shift. India is beginning to look more and more at what has gone on in China in terms of China's ability to create homegrown, successful internet companies like Alibaba, Tencent, TikTok, for example. And India is doing more and more to try and stop the rise of the Western tech world by changing taxation systems, particularly around, say, online shopping, in order to build more local champions. And it will be a key thing to watch in India whether that strategy can be, that works so well in China for the Chinese, can be replicated in India.